Hello, experts. My name is Pang Hongyu. I'm a graduate student of Nanjing University of Post and Telecommunications, and my major is Communication Engineering. Next, I will make a PowerPoint presentation about research on dynamic time slot reservation handover algorithm based on remaining time in a bean hopping system. The first part is about the research background. Due to the diversity of service types and the uneven distribution of service, multi bin technology is shifting to bin hopping technology. As a result, resource allocation problems and uh, being handover problems arise. This article proposes a handover algorithm based on the dynamic time slot reservation based on the remaining time to reduce the handover failure, probability, and uh, improve quality of service. Next, the second part. Bean hopping satellite system. The bean hopping model is shown in Figure 1. The core concept of bean hopping is to employ time slicing method. Not all beans are illuminated at the same time, only part of them are activity on demand. Each cluster has time slot period tables and the bin positions are illuminated according to the time slot period table. When the gateway receives the handover request according to the usage of time slot resources Bin is switched by the bin hopping controller on the satellite to ensure the continuity of mobile terminal communications. Next, this handover mechanism is based on the remaining time. Under the same satellite system, High-speed terminals such as airplanes and trees compete for the same channel or time slot resources. Assuming that in an overlap area, terminals with different speeds and different trajectories make handover requests to the gateway. According to the mechanism, the gateway will handle the handover requests according to the first come, first service, first served principle. Four systems that include, include uh, terminals of different speeds. This mechanism has greater limitations this section proposes the handover mechanism based on remaining time that takes the remaining time of the terminal in a current beam position as the decision factor for handover. And show in figure two, the current position of the terminal is xy. The distance from the center of the beam position is d. Assume that the angle is theta. The remaining distance in the current beam position is d. The remaining time in the current beam position is t. When it is less than the remaining time 
Syria shoot. All mobile terminal handover requests will be created according to the remaining time, and the gateway will give priority to the terminal with the least remaining time to allocate time slaughter resources. It can be seen that under this handover method mechanism, some urgent terminals can be processed preferentially, which reduces the handover failure probability. For ease of analysis, we assume that the system is single beam hopping satellite system. Firstly, the beam positions are clustered. NB beam position from a cluster. Mobile terminals are randomly distributed in a cluster. At the same time, at most one beam position in each cluster is illuminated. And the number of time slots in each cycle in the same and the window length is W. Assuming that each terminal needs at least one time slot for access. At most W mobile terminals are allowed to access at the same time in a cluster. In practical, the experience of handover failure is worse than waiting for new connection request access. So this paper sets the priority of handover request higher than new connection request. K time slots are reserved for initial initial and the reserved time slots are only allotted to the terminal that hand over request. The remaining W minus K time slots are called by the handover and the new connection calls compete together. The next step is about the handover process. Step 1. Initialize the terminal arrive rate, lambda 1, lambda 2. Step 2. Four different types of terminals. PHF equals PNB equals PO equals zero. And the number of remaining time slots in the cluster is W. Then FC zero equals one. Step three. According to the arrival rates of airplanes and trains, remainder one, remainder two, the handover arrival rates of airplanes and trees, Remina 3, Remina 4, are derived. Step 4. The average connect time of a certain terminals is derived. Step 5. The probability density function FCZ of the number of occupied time slots in the cluster is derived and then normalized. Step 6. Select the handover mechanism. 
the different tool and derive new PHF, new PMB, new PO. If new PHF is greater than the threshold PHF, the number of time slot reservations is increased by one and I repeat five. If minion T slot is greater than output hand over failure probability PHF and new connection broken probability. Otherwise, repeat three. Next, the simulation parameters are shown in table one. And then the simulation results are obtained. And show in figure 5. In the same scenario, it can be seen that the higher the arrival rate, the time slot reservation handover algorithm based on remaining time has a significant improvement in handover failure probability. Under the same handover algorithm, there is a lower handover failure probability in bean hopping because bean hopping has more flexible in time slot allocation. This paper proposes a dynamic time slot reservation handover algorithm based on remaining time when the arrive rate is large enough, more time slot resources need to be reserved, reserved to ensure that handover failure probability is within threshold PHF. As shown in Figure 6, in the same Scenario The static time slot reservation handover algorithm based on location and the static time slot reservation handover algorithm based on remaining time have the same new connection broken probability, indicating that the difference between the two handover mechanisms is not the new connection access. So different handover mechanisms have a little diff effect on the new connection broken probability. Under the same handover mechanism, there is a lower new connect broken probability in a bean hopping because bean hopping has more flexible flexibility in time slot allocate allocation. This paper proposes a dynamic time slot reservation handover algorithm based on remaining time and handover failure probability approaches threshold PHF more time slots are reserved for handover costs, which increases the new connection broken probability. Success for handover can improve the user experience more. So the handover Success probability is far more important than the new connection 
success probability and show one in figure 7 in the same scenario the quality of service of the time slot reservation hand over algorithm based on remaining time goes down more slowly for the same hand over algorithm the QOS goes down more slowly in being copied. In the case of high arrival rate of insufficient resources, the being hopping technology uses can effectively reduce the handover failure probability for its flexible flexibility. The dynamic time slot reservation handover algorithm based on remaining time proposed in this paper reserve, reserves this more time slots to ensure the handover success probability so that the quality of service goes down the slowest thank you